I dress to please me, not to please anybody else. I put my sister's clothes on. I felt free. I like my clothes. I love them. I love what I get. I love who I am. I love to feel good. These were taken in roughly 1983. That's me here. This was when I used to do my mobile discos, which I really loved doing. The bottom photo is myself with my mum. Since I've transitioned to a lady, I do not talk to. When I was aged seven, I knew I was different. I would take my sister's clothes. I would take them to my secret hiding place up in some woods and I would put them on. I felt like I was normal. One time I got followed, I got found out. My main mum was the first one to say anything. And she says, you are a puff, you are a queer, you are an homo. And I couldn't find the words to say, I need help. I am transgender. So my dad sent them all out. He then stripped me naked. And he beat me. But that wasn't enough for him. My dad raped me. <laughs> Sorry, would you stop me? I would love to be the person to lead the campaign to stop the bullying for trans people. When I had my surgery back in 2012, I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, I know what I want to do now. I want to help other people and give lectures to try and educate members of the public. Yeah, hello my dear, how are you? Hello. I'm all right, I'm good as gold now. Starting to calm down a little bit. Yes, I'm feeling excited and very nervous at the moment. I'm glad I've got this bit of time so I can literally try and chill out before we actually get started. Hi everyone, uh, I'm the president of the UELGBT and uh, I just went to thank everyone for coming today. Yeah, and I'm going to hand over to Charlie now. Welcome to Trans People with Disability Honor Feeney. I'm Charlie, my pronouns are he, him, and I'm the vice president of UELGBT+. Um, this is an evening of storytelling and sharing our experiences as trans people. We have a talk from the wonderful Phyllis King. I was in my 50s when I came out. I've got a shock of my life. My GP said, Phyllis, do not worry. She was the best person I could have spoke to. I have a question before I go on. How many people here today are either transitioned or going to transition? Still wait, stage two or three or five, you've been delayed back in time, you're told because you're autistic, you can't make it, you might keep working. That's a load of bulk. Oh, yeah, you keep working. You can do it, you can get there, you will get there. No matter what. But we've got to account for each other. That's right, you have to. To stop the bullying, 
we can't go on anymore. Everybody needs to unite and say, no more, stop. Yeah? Am I right? Who agrees with me? Well, I'm going to throw the floor open for a minute. Take one or two questions while I've still got time. That's my friend. So, from what you said there, it sounds like you don't think that trans people who don't want um, all the surgeries possible are valid in their identities. No. Answer me this question. Do you want to go for surgery? Do you want a medication? Wait there. Who just wants medication? Gets it before you. Yeah. Pushed you out the way. I'm for, but I, I've, that's all I want. It's just that. So pushed I've, you out the way. I'm, How would you feel? Well, I'm currently on a very long waiting list to to go to Chat Cross. You love thing it. Is, um, you love it. It's great. But the thing is, I I personally don't think that people who just want to get hormone therapy are any less valid than people who want to do everything possible because if you got there first, then that's why there's a waiting list. This is a big... This it is, is a big, this is, this big, is a big issue. Argument. And this is a... Yeah, this is a big discussion and I don't yeah. think this is the appropriate place to be having it. Right, lovely. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Hi, Paul. Hi, sweetie. We're on our way home now. Where are you, sweetheart? I'm in town centre at the moment. Yeah, okay then. Thanks. Alright then. See you in a bit. Bye. Yeah, bye. Bye. Hello, oh, folks. Hi, Hi, Phyllis. Hi, Hi, come Hi. In. Hi, puppy. How are you doing? Alright, how are you doing? How are you being? I'm alright, how are you yeah. doing? I'm alright. Oh, I've missed oh, you. you been? Haven't really seen you since Bristol, have I? No, you haven't. How did it go? Yeah. When I started off, right up until that particular moment, I thought how well it was going. I really did. No, I'm sorry. I messed up. Hey, Phyllis. I messed Phyllis, up big time. Phyllis, that is not a reflection of the whole talk. That's one thing I was thinking when, when Phyllis was doing the talk. As a person from your generation, you're undergoing the gender reassignment at a much later age post puberty, whereas a lot of young kids now are experiencing a different set of support. There where, is, there's just, you know, for, and, and, for kids of today, yeah. there's just completely different set of rules now. The rest of the that, talk. That was the bulk of it, wasn't it? Yeah, the, the, the main mm -hmm. part, what I went there for, I really enjoyed yeah. it. Even I learned something, it was a learning curve for me. I feel like I am finally me. It's a pity you've had to spend a lifetime to get here to be the person you are. Bleeding. All those things that we as girls born into the bodies that we yeah, identify is... as, we do from the, the minute our mums go shopping and we go yeah. into their makeup bag and start playing with it. By learning all this, I'm getting there. But it takes me a bit of time. I had a makeover done not long ago. And it was done professionally. And the lady done such a lovely job. Is there a particular eye colour that you want me to use for you? You want pink eyeshadow? Yes, please. And always remember, whatever you're using, Phyllis, less is more. I can't stress that enough. What colour mascara do you normally use, Phyllis? What mascara? What colour? Do you use a black, a brown? Is for the... For your eyelashes. Do you have to have a special brush for, for the eyelash? Or you can you get... bendy ones? No, you can get eyelash brushes like this. These are used for eyelashes and eyebrows. Yeah. I love it. I've lost for words. I really am. 
being transgender, it's not easy. Give us a chance. We are the same as anybody else. We have a brain. We have a heart. We have feelings.